one thing I forgot. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a second, wait a second. Rainy work from the top. Flop. Oh, no. No. Oh, thank goodness. How? Why's it got me rolling? No! Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, and don't forget to hit that like button. Ayo! It's your boy, Mr. Faith. And we are back with another episode of this WWE Universe. And we are just coming off of Elimination Chamber. If you haven't seen it, if you're new to the channel, go check it out. The link is in the description. That being said, this is the Monday Night Raw after. We have no clue what the card looks like. We don't know what, what we're going to do. But we definitely know we're going to watch the main event. And we're going to wrestle a match. We're not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Timestamps are in the video. Feel free to jump around if you want. Let's go. All right, so starting off the show, uh, we're going to take away the camera so that way y'all can see the whole screen. Um, we're going to just start simming matches. We're going to wrestle that Fatal 4-Way, I think. So, uh, predictions. I think if the family got to win this one, it, it, it would help them, like, for title shots and stuff like that. Uh, the Usos are already champs. You know how champs kind of relax. Like, they don't got nothing to prove. So, uh, that's what I'm going with here. Yeah, okay, so the family wins. Um, Samoa Joe versus Kane. Kane has, has been on a little streak of dominance. Uh, showed up in the Elimination Chamber. Um, but, you know, Samoa Joe's been the U.S. champ for some time now. So, you know, can't bet against him. Oh, but Kane wins. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Uh, let's see. We got, oh, oh, I'm going to have to say Finn Balor. I'm going to have to say Finn Balor. Yeah, or Dolph I'm gonna say Finn Balor. Finn Balor, okay, okay. And then, uh, who, okay, we're gonna wrestle this one. The thing is, I just don't know who I wanna wrestle as. You know, we'll wrestle as Randy. Alright. Oh, I tried to play the, I tried to play possum. I tried to play possum and, and just reverse him and then get the upper hand, but. That ain't gonna work apparently on this one. Uh, yeah. Uh, Randy going after his old mentor. You think about this though, Ric Flair <laughs> mentored two of the other three competitors in the ring right now. That's wild. Oh, and this is prime Ric Flair. This is Ric Flair with the hair. You feel me? Oh, oh. Okay. All right, you probably shouldn't have gone after him. I think, honestly, we might be the lowest overall rated person in the ring right now. With me and Randy Orton. Okay. Okay, he's going to get us with the chops. Okay. Okay. Bet. Okay. I'm a... Yeah, plus, it's been a little... I, I got my... My phalanges got to warm up. My phalanges got to warm up. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, couldn't have come at a better time. Uh. What's up, son? Uh. Yeah, Randy Orton. Stomping a mud hole in you. No, no, no. You think you can escape from Randy? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir, Bob. Oh, wait. Oh, he did escape. Oh. Oh, that's okay. All right. Well, oh, now I can't reverse. Oh, no. Now he's going to give me the business. Oh, thank goodness. Somebody came. Oh, man. <laughs> he just took it straight after. Yeah, I'm going to take my time, too. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this uh, wear off. Don't think I forgot. Don't think I forgot. Hold on, hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Wait a second. Randy Orton from the top. Flop. Oh no. No. Oh, thank goodness. How why is it got me rolling? No. He just in there. Woo! <laughs> Being Ric Flair. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Rick. Come on. Come on, Rick. Yeah. Now we all want it. What the? What the? Okay, bro. Get, bro! Okay, Daniel. Okay. So you wanted to interrupt things with me long enough for me to... Boy, you know what? Just... Uh, just because of that. I'm going after Ray Flair, bro, on the outside. Oh, he's going to reverse it. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. Okay, good. 
Man, I got like no stamina or nothing, bro. Yeah, now we got stuff locked in. Yeah. Yeah. What the? Wait. Uh-huh. 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 Come on, hurry. Get it off. No! No! Okay. All right. All right. Don't worry. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Don't worry. We got this. Okay. Shawn Michaels is in here. We don't have to win this right now. We don't have to win this. No. We just got to not lose right to second. Okay, all right, Sean. What? Okay, come on now. Really? Dude, let me move. Bro, thank goodness that he tapped, he knocked the ref out because, bro, it was not letting me move for a minute. Did y'all see that? That was wild. Oh. Is Daniel Bryan focused on me? Who's focused on me right now? Oh, no. Daniel Bryan, do something, bro. RKO, a little back breaker, a little neck breaker. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that's how we do it. See, we counter. Let Ric Flair get super kicked. Gave Sean the RKO. Slam Daniel Bryan on his fragile neck. Then we got the one, two, three, man. That's how it's done. Alright. I'm always interested in call out. So we're gonna watch this and it leads straight to the main event. So we'll just watch them both. But I'm always interested in call outs that, especially the, the night after the pay per view from people that were in the pay per view but lost. All right, now this is John Cena, so this should be like the best promo the game has to offer here. We'll see. Oh, let me take this away so y'all can read here. Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to glad hand y'all tonight. I don't even know what that glad hand means. Uh, I've come out here for one reason, and that's to speak about some things that have been said lately. You want to insult and degrade me? Fine, but <laughs> you've got to do it to my face. Oh, okay. Okay. And it's something about you got to do it when I'm here or in the ring or something like that. Okay. All right. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of rumors recently, and frankly, I'm getting real tired of being someone's excuse for why things aren't going their way. Okay, this sounds like some real John Cena type stuff. So Raiden, you wanna talk about me in the back? Why don't you come out here and say it to my face? So he's calling out Raiden, okay. This is interesting. This is interesting because Raiden had, had a little spat with Shao Kahn, got decimated though. But maybe if John Cena beats Raiden, that'll put him at the same level as Shao Kahn. And, you know, then, then there's a title opportunity. Maybe he's trying to sneak his way into WrestleMania right here. And Raiden comes out. He answers the challenge. Okay. And then John Cena's like, okay, you know what? I respect you for coming out here like a man to my face. Raiden like, yeah, mother fluffer. I'm out here. Big dog, what? I probably made Raiden a little too jacked, didn't I? Kind of the same side, John Cena. Look, normally I'll come out here ready to entertain, have a good time <laughs> with you out there in the crowd tonight. It's going to be a little bit different because I'm starting to feel as though my kindness is being mistaken for weakness. Okay. I hate for anybody to think, it's simply because I get along with the WWE Universe that that means I like him or something. I don't know. All the gyrating he was doing and how much white he was wearing was making that real hard to read. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? I'm out here speaking my mind. And you have the nerve to interrupt me like this? You either got a death wish or you're really, really stupid. I'm going to go out on a limb and say both. Okay. Well, see, again, this doesn't really make sense because you called him out there. Um... And you're acting like he's interrupting you? I don't know. 
it seems kind of like kind of a heel thing to do. The way I see it, I'm doing these people a favor. I'm sparing them from your what is that? Petulant whining and, and posturing. Okay. Um. So is Raiden? Is John Cena? Is this a heel turn for John Cena? Look, I get it. You want to make a name for yourself around here. And you're trying to do it at the expense of one of the greatest natural born athletes in WWE has ever seen. Okay, that's not true. I hate to break it to you, but it's not going to happen. It's going to ha <laughs> What's going to happen is it will set your career back to the stone age where it belongs. Dang. Okay. That seemed like something John Cena might say. I'm trying to be cool here and not lose my patience, but you're making it awfully difficult. I mean, I feel like fighting you would be... Like picking on a little kid who doesn't know any better. Oh, okay. I don't want to feel like a bully or anything, but I'm starting to get upset. Okay. And then he cracked his neck. So that's how you know he's serious. Okay. I'm sure this all looked and sounded really scary when you were practicing in front of the mirror. But I got to say, there was something lost in that delivery because I'm not feeling the, and it, you know. Y'all yeah, can, can see the screen. Okay. That sounds like something John Cena might say, too, to be honest. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe is this a heel turn? Watching you run your mouth like that reminds me of one of those Japanese monster movies that they dub in the English, you know, where their mouths are moving, but the words coming out don't match them. That's pretty much your career in a nutshell. You talk about achieving greatness, then constantly disappoint. I don't know if you can really say that since he's a 16-time champ. Uh probably the greatest of all time um, who the hell do you think you are you think you've earned the right to come out here and talk smack to me you haven't earned yourself a parking space much less the right to talk to me you better get backstage before I decide to get angry okay so now so it does it kind of does frustrate me that John Cena's like who do you think you are coming out here blah, blah, blah. it's like you called him out there what do you mean you expected to call him out and have him not show up that's what you wanted Oh, and then he, said, he says more. I can't stand it when a superstar insults either myself or, more importantly, the WWE Universe. It's incredibly disrespectful, but it's, that's just the type of person you are, a bully. And bullies don't win. In fact, I look forward to the satisfaction and relief I'll have after, I don't know, kicking your butt or something. Um, and then he walks out. So we could be looking at a pretty big match there. John Cena ends up winning the promo. I thought maybe there was some sort of a heel turn coming, but then at the end, he, like, kind of pandered to the WWE Universe, and maybe there wasn't a heel turn the whole time, and I, I don't know. Alright, so this is the main event, and oh, oh, I was going to say, oh, I, I, I was going to say, oh, Don Cena taking it to Shao Kahn. For those of you who are new to the channel, by the way, Don Cena is the evil John Cena that we created that had a long feud with John Cena. Ultimately ended up losing pretty much like the deciding match of it, even though he pretty much controlled like the whole feud. Uh, you know, so he, he never has had a title opportunity. Now he's in what seems to be an eight wing, an eight week long feud with Shao Kahn, which means it's probably going to be Shao Kahn versus Don Cena at WrestleMania that we're watching here. Um, and, uh, well, to be honest, it's a little disappointing. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. Okay. I say it would be a little disappointing if Shao Kahn wins this dominantly. Um, then again, maybe not. Maybe he needs to win this dominantly to be the big bad champion that, that needs to have his title taken and it sets up the win for Don Cena. I I don't know. Ooh, he, I mean, he literally just punched him so hard he went over to the railing himself. And there is a count out. So, and it's at seven. There we go. Yeah, okay. It's not going to get counted out. That's the thing about Shao Kahn is that he's not going to get counted out. Like, he will stay. He's a champ. He can get counted out and leave and walk away. Hold. This isn't even a title match, but... Even if it were, he get counted out, walk away, still hold his title, and he doesn't do it ever. He's not going to do it. It's just not who he is. So, um, it, it is, you know, 
it, it is good to see that he's like dominant in such a crazy way and he really does it with no help i mean even though he rolls with smoke and and uh you know sub zero and scorpion he really does it by himself are we about to see oh okay Woo, that was a that was a pretty close two count there Uh, but yeah, he really does it by himself and he's honestly faced like I don't think that we've seen Such a dominant reign and such a I Was gonna say I don't think we've seen such a dominant reign in such a short period of time And Don Cena just came out and made him tap I was literally talking this man up the whole match and John Cena just made him tap While I was talking him up I was like just barely getting through like the the setting up the story for y'all in case you were new to the channel and he put he put this man in, in, in a modified triangle and made him tap oh man that sets up stuff now that changes things now all right there you have it that's the end of the show hope you guys enjoyed uh, we're going to take a look at the power rankings, and then we're also going to take a look at the champions and, and their rankings and see how things have changed uh, since Elimination Chamber has happened. So, uh, I mean, John Cena being up at the top, uh, cutting a very strong promo, uh, makes sense, you know. And, of course, we're going to see Jimmy Uso, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Jey Uso. We're going to see those people up there because they've been killing it. Shao Kahn is the champion. He's finally getting ready to crack the top 10 but he just lost to Don Cena so we, you know we don't know how he's doing in the power rankings um the Jamaicans are up there people are loving the Jamaicans people are liking Smoke, Cesaro, Sheamus the tag team division really as a whole um has never been better and so you're seeing a lot of these tag teams kind of take over the power rankings I, I enjoy watching that all right championship rankings so I mean yeah it makes sense after what we just saw Don Cena is the number one contender right uh, it, it has Brock Lesnar at two and Jacob at three. And honestly, I'm not upset with those either because, um, you know, Brock Lesnar, it's been a while since he had a title shot. He was injured when he faced Shao Kahn or when Shao Kahn beat him for the title. So, it, it, you know, it kind of makes sense that he would want a, a rematch or whatever. Um, it also makes sense that Jacob losing a championship would want to rematch, but I don't really think he's really that deserving. And everyone else in the list is kind of like same, same, you know. Uh, King C down at the bottom, though, he's been on the up and up. He's been killing it with the Jamaicans and everything, so uh, he's got a lot of potential uh, that he's riding. Uh, Samoa Joe, still your United States champion. He didn't have to defend his title in Elimination Chamber, so uh, you know, he's still a champ. Smoke is the number one contender, uh, which makes a little bit of sense there uh you see Jinder Mahal um but he did just lose a match clean to Kane so you know Kane's gotta be on the rise after that you think and lastly the new champs uh you know the faces of fear Freddy Krueger and Jeepers Creepers um and you know honestly seeing the family at number one after all of that makes sense they've been putting on a lot of great matches um, I feel like, I mean, Goku and Vegeta just had an opportunity. Um, you know, Scorpion, Sub-Zero ha have been you know, putting on great matches. Really, uh, Alien, Ver Alien Predator were just champs and had opportunities. Uh, it's kind of crazy to see that the Stooges, like, drop so far down and, and everything like that. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it does make perfect sense. So, that'll do it for the show tonight. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see changes or if there's a rivalry you guys want to see or um, it, it's something. Let me know and we'll make it happen. Um, also, you know, let, let me know what you guys are, are thinking as far as the, the changes that are you're seeing on the channel, what we're doing with the videos because I want to make things uh a little bit easier to digest so hopefully the flow of us going to the power rankings and everything at the end um is is smoother and things like that but uh, i really want to give all the credit all the glory everything goes to god without him i wouldn't be able to do a thing so i give him all the praise to everything that i do um i always want more of him less of me uh when it comes to these videos so you know hopefully you guys um are, are getting to just kind of you know maybe block out something throughout your day or you guys can sit down and watch this video and just forget about, you know, whatever's going on. That That's really the whole point of, of this. I just want to be, um, 
you know, something that's entertaining that hopefully helps you get your mind off of some of the tough stuff and, and some of the times that, you know, we're all inevitably going through. Um, so, you know, I, I can only do that through him. So I, I have to give him all the praise of everything that we do on this channel. Um, that being said, though, I love you guys. I hope that you guys are, are doing well. I know the holiday season is coming up. And uh, while it's usually happy for most, I know it can be tough for some. So, um, you know, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys are, are feeling. Because, uh, you know, I, I want to be able to be here for you guys, create a community and, um, you know, grow as a, as a channel. Uh, not only through just viewers and subscribers, but uh, really develop meaningful and impactful uh, relationships with people. So that being said, I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Until then, peace.